I'm here today on October 17, 2008 in the lovely city of Detroit. I've been taken around by Jeanette Pierce from Inside Detroit, who's been showing me the most um, amazing and remarkable places in Detroit, and this is certainly one of them. We're in the middle of the Heidelberg project. I've already done a little bit of filming about that. Very unique urban reclaimed space. Art, how did you say it before? Uh, something revitalizing a city through art or taking neighborhoods back through art. It was wonderful, the statement that you made. A neighborhood that was once beaten down. Yes. And using art to bring it back. Awesome. Now in front of me I have Tyree Guyton, right? That's correct. The, cr the That's creator correct. of the Heidelberg Project. I'm really pleased to meet you. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes with me. Please tell me about yourself and this project. Well, this project, the uh, Heidelberg Project, I am, um, I'm an artist. I have a background in, in art. went to art school here in the city. I came back home in 1985 and 86. I started this project. I had said in the past that I was standing on the porch of the house that's in back of it that's covered with dots. Oh, yeah. And I had this epiphany. That's the, is it this one over there? And just look around, just look over here. Oh, this is, this is the house. Just look at this. Oh, look at these folks. Ah, oh, <laughs> they're not scared of this neighborhood, they love it too. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the power of art. Mm -hmm. Art can help to transform. It also helps to build bridges and it brings people who ordinarily wouldn't come. Mm -hmm. So what I have said in the past that the art is not only uh, an art product but also it's a medicine yes that helps to transform our perception of what life is and isn't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you have just witnessed folks from all over yes being here today and then a group of runners coming through here. Well, it's amazing because I've been here in this neighborhood for 10 minutes and I met a fellow from Detroit. He was a car, oh, not Detroit, from uh, Toronto. Absolutely. Another guy next to him from uh, New York City and then another couple of women from Boston. Yes. So this place attracts it international attention. And yes. you've been working on some international projects. Would you care to tell me a little bit about your international activities? I just got back from Venice uh, two weeks ago. I mean, it's weird. The Heidelberg Project is part of the Venice Biennale this mm -hmm. year. It was chosen to, uh, to represent the United States. And I'm excited about that. And then uh, this past April, I was over in Sydney. I was in the Outback, Uluru, wow. uh, working with the Aborigines. Uh -huh. And um, it's, uh, once again, building bridges and uh, using art as a medicine to connect people mm -hmm. and thoughts. So wonderful. And you also, would you mind showing us your calendar or your brochure that you've got there? Oh, that looks like a very unique type of uh, project that you've created there as well. What is this? Yeah, this right here is a, a brochure that was designed by Janine Whitfield, who is our director. Oh, yeah? It's a way, and if you look in here, there's Janine Whitfield, okay. our director, and yes. my, myself. Yourself right there. And then uh, we decided that we wanted to do something very interesting, mm -hmm. and so we went up in a helicopter. Oh. And we did an aerial shot of the project, uh -huh. and decided that from that we would create a map. And this map explains some of the pieces. Awesome. Uh, it's part of my philosophy. It's part of uh, the purpose why this project is here. Yes. So it's all out in this map. Here. Well, and this, this map is available where? Uh, you can also go on our site, which is heidelberg.org. Heidelberg.org. And, and purchase this map. Along Excellent. with um, t-shirts and uh -huh. there's a book that came out this year that mm -hmm. was published by Wayne State University. Great. Uh, and the title of the book is Connecting the Dots. Awesome. Starting with that house right there, which is the, the polka, uh, polka dot house, right? Absolutely. It's called the Dottie Waddy House. Dottie Waddy House? Dottie Waddy House. It Great. started back uh, in 1992 mm -hmm. when the city demolished part of this project. And my granddad and I were sitting in the kitchen uh -huh. in this house here talking about Plan B. Okay. Plan B was to come out and to polka dot the this house here. Yeah. He now loved you jelly beans. Oh, jelly beans. That's great. <laughs> you grew up on the city, basically? Yes, I did. I grew up in that house. Oh, in, in the polka dot I house? I grew up in that house. Awesome. Good for you. Well, this is one of the most creative things I've ever seen. It's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing it with Thank me. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming today. Our pleasure. Thank you.